to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment. On account of the progress you are making in the spirit, on account of the fact that God it has so pleased him by his sheer mercy and grace, to lift you to a position where you now represent the voice of God to a generation. I warn myself every day, God can do without you. God can do without you. Mr. Man, you are a man. You are only of God. Lord, if you're lifting someone in this city, don't do it without me don't do it without me lord if you're healing someone in this city please don't do it without me don't do it without me lord if you're changing someone in this city don't do it without me. I submit to you by God. There are many men of God. There are many people who need a retreat fast. To go back and break down before God. And say my maker and my king. Everything I ever have. It came from you. And thank God for the spirit of revelation. Thank God for the ability to minister healing. Thank God for the nations who are hearing what we are doing. But Lord, I pray the pride that comes based on spiritual achievements, may it never, never, never. While you are saying it, you will look like a fool. But you are already signing your relevance for the next move of God. See, this is why you see a lot of people used by God. And then a time comes, you see another move of God. They are still alive. And yet you see, this is not backsliding. It just looks like God says, no, no, no. I can't make you do with this again. Some of you here are leaders over small prayer groups. You are already copying all kinds of nonsense. It doesn't matter even if it's from me. We have to be careful the things we are learning. Pride that destroys people. It is as a result of this pride that dishonor has crept into the body. Everybody is correcting everybody. Someone who has not even started ministry. Standing at the back of the tree and calling fathers and insulting everybody. Spiritual pride. Till today when I have the honor and the privilege of meeting any of our fathers in the faith or anyone who has gone ahead, it does not matter what they are saying. I sit down quietly as if I do not know anything in ministry. I submit to you, brothers and sisters and people of God, the man talking to you is not stupid. By the grace of God, forgive me if I sound arrogant. I have seen honor. I have seen the grace of God. I have seen Jesus. I have stood before kings. I know what it means to have spiritual progress. God has helped me. But the way up is to remain on your knees. Many of you are simple. You are not humble. Simplicity is not humility. Humility is not refusing to acknowledge what God has done in your life. No. No. I remember one time years ago when I finished that preaching, 
someone sent me a text and said i've been calling you and you did not pick i said look they said i'm humble not stupid do you know my activities don't don't let people blackmail you emotionally just because you said you are humble no but can i tell you the truth my brothers and my sisters please listen to me pride based on spiritual achievement god forbid but if i die today i sleep and i do not wake up it will not change what god is doing on earth the church is marching on the church is marching on the gates of hell shall not prevail never get to a point in your life where you believe god cannot do without you and he says really no it is a privilege beyond imagination to be part of god's program it is a privilege to help build and bless people it is a privilege to be granted the gift of influence and access it is it is a privilege there are many things today that i know from this scripture i did not study it it's the spirit of revelation that brought it i cannot take credit for it there are things I've, i told you i have seen people who have fasted and prayed more than me years ago a gentleman most times when people are fasting sometimes i join them and round it up with them there was a gentleman who fasted for 400 days six to six i rounded up the 400 day with him and yet that person did not carry any power more than the spiritual activities we are doing believe me it is the mercy of god i know people who have studied more books about church growth than me i know people who have gone to different theological seminaries i know people who have had the opportunity they have so the little and the bits that god does in and through our lives as we ascend this mountain spiritually may we ever remain humble and i'm saying this to those who are also leaders in this ministry or leaders all around we have to learn this men can clap for you that is important but you must get to a point where you say this is enough my life is to see jesus glorified because you see there's something the anointing and the glory of god does upon a man it makes it look like you are not human again and when people stand in awe of that glory that majesty the wisdom that comes from god many times they begin to look for sincere ways of expressing honor and appreciation to you you are the one who needs to be wise to know when it has gone beyond honor into something else and to lovingly draw that line and keep that line drawn are we together everybody say spiritual pride please shout it say spiritual pride god is speaking to us right now there are people who have not been patient with younger ministers as they rise because of pride i've told you this when you are mentoring and raising people part of the responsibility of fatherhood is that you must be able to take a lot of nonsense from people as they are growing you must know and be patient with people the same way god was patient with us spiritual pride revelation rema healing prophecy africa i speak to you by the voice of the spirit men and women of god across this nation and across this continent may we obtain grace from god to be humble some of these godlike things we continue to do we need to pray that god will have mercy on us otherwise we'll keep falling like rain one by one at the instance of pride pride based on revelation pride based on oratory pride based on prophetic prowess pride based on the miraculous pride based on wisdom pride based on all of these things anything spiritual except the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city the watchmen watch it but in vain it is vain to wake up early and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow so you want to keep growing spiritually you want to keep accessing supernatural levels of power let every lifting that god brings in your life culminate to a greater level of humility 
lord i am so honored that you have granted me this access sometimes when i'm sitting before the lord in the night and some of these revelations come tears just come out of my eyes and i say lord thank you thank you thank you you have been merciful to me and i'm grateful jesus you love me too much oh too much oh too much oh excess love oh Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Too much, oh, too much, oh excess love, oh. Spiritual pride. The second area of pride is God helping us. Hmm. Tonight's message is hard, bar. Just receive it with love. It is, it is the way we make. The maker is making men. The second aspect of pride is called the pride of life. Please write it down. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 16. What is the pride of life? The pride of life is the self-exaltation. You see, that, that, on, that inordinate feeling of importance, that, that, that not confidence, self-exaltation based on obvious achievements, the pride of life is for people who have achieved something tangible. If you have not achieved anything, you can have pride, but not the pride of life. The pride of life is the self-glorification that is derived in the presence of obvious achievements. You have results to show for it. 1 John 2, 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world the pride of life jeremiah chapter 9 from verse 23 to 24 the prophet speaking by the spirit admonishes us thus saith the lord let not the wise man glory in his wisdom it does not mean to not celebrate your wisdom uh-uh you know what pride is? The refusal to acknowledge God as the basis for your success. The refusal, the ashamedness, the moment you are embarrassed to let people see Jesus as the basis for your victory. You want to so enjoy that spotlight. You don't want God to interrupt this spotlight. Lord, I've waited all my life to shine. And now that the spotlight is on me, Jesus, get out of the way. Let me not have any interruption. Let me enjoy and savor the moment. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man uh -huh, glory in his riches. What is the pride of the believer? 24. But let him that glory yet glory in this. That he understandeth and knoweth me that i am the lord which exercise loving kindness judgment righteousness in the earth for in these things i delight saith the lord everyone say the pride of life this is where all other groups now come in politicians successful people businessmen god intends to lift us but we must be careful our world has a very superior architecture they can design a house where you will die when you rise they will consciously we may not know i've arrived we call it i don't know what the, i've arrived that's the one i know are we together count you know what made the rich man foolish read the bible it was not his money the problem was not the rich the problem was the fool you know what made him foolish he built his bands and stored the and god said today your soul is required of you my father used to tell us many years ago that no matter who you are no matter where you go to make sure you fight pride i think it's one of the most most outspoken virtue that he pounded in our heads growing pride May God bless him for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Pride. 
my power and my might i am this i made this happen you hear people make all kinds of statements i've taught you that everything comes from god through men pride is when men want to become the source of everything i can lift you i can do this i can frustrate you ah. we have to be careful there is a god that sits in heaven the monarch of the universe so whilst you achieve all that you achieve using these keys that we keep sharing as god lifts you as god blesses you as god as god honors you make sure that you unashamedly stand before god and before men and tell them the lord is the doer of these things you hear the testimonies week in week out all of the mighty and marvelous things if god has done anything good in and through this life and in and through this ministry and in and through any life here he deserves the glory so when men clap for you appreciate them but be sure to point them to the one who is the doer of every good thing and god says you had a chance to stand and savor this moment and you are directing people to me you are ready for the next level let's go and he will lift you fearfully help those under the anointing there please fearfully to another level this is one of the secrets and one of the graces that i prayed for and i continue to pray for deuteronomy chapter 8 from verse 11 deuteronomy chapter 8 remember he gave them a warning koinonia is, is the lord speaking to you tonight he gave a warning beware that thou forget not the lord thy god in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which i commanded this day next verse less when thou hast eaten and are full you see something happens to people when they are not hungry again hunger is not the best but it has a way of making you to remember your maker is that true when you are trekking it's easy to pray in tongues while you are trekking when you don't have a job you have something to wake up in the night and pray for in the name of jesus this spirit you fought my father minus me you can pray till morning when you are trusting god for some breakthrough but when this happens there is something about men being full remember the five the five loaves and two fish they were hungry and they listened what happened when they were full they threw everything and went away there's no record in the bible of them telling jesus thank you they left he said no problem leave them gather my crumbs for me 12 baskets the same people who were once hungry less when thou hast eaten and art full one level and has built houses and dwelt therein next verse and when your herds and flocks multiply and thy silver and gold is multiplied you see the keyword there multiplied multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied then thy heart shall be lifted up that's the bible's definition of pride when your heart is lifted up no longer your hands again it used to be your hands lifted up but when you become proud your heart is lifted up and thou forget the lord thy god which brought thee forth out of the land of egypt from the house of bondage uh -huh. who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought and where there was no water who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint 16 who fed thee in the wilderness with manna which thy fathers knew not that he may humble thee that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end 17 and thou say in thy heart the classic definition of pride the pride of life my power and the might of my hand has gotten me this world my connection is what gave me this electoral victory my business connection i am such an astute businessman you will tell yourself i am such a great preacher i am hmm. let it not be that when this has happened and men continue to clap for you you say my power and my might pride therefore is the refusal to acknowledge god before men 
as the doer of every good thing in your life either directly or indirectly usual passion an unusual passion for the attention of men an unusual passion for self-glorification a desire for men to keep singing your sing your praises or to sing it to yourself is pride that th there is such a craving for attention once the spotlight is not on you there is trouble is unusual craving for the spotlight to be the person there it doesn't matter what else let the light the darkness be on everybody but once it is on me that's it maybe i just described someone here maybe you are outside following online from whatever nation and the lord is saying this is you don't fight what he's saying the goal of god's word is to purify the washing of the water by the word the craving there are people who go out of their way to make sure that they ring bells to make sure everybody knows what is they are doing you buy a new shoe the whole world must know you bought a new shoe is that true you bought a new bible they must first see how the old one was very old then they see the new one to show you are spiritual some of these things are unnecessary please hear me it's a hard teaching tonight but it's the holy ghost speaking to you symptoms of pride what is the symptom of pride embarrassment listen the moment you begin to become embarrassed to acknowledge god publicly is a symptom of pride before god lifted you you could kneel down and lie down and roll on the floor but right now you are you make sure you are calculated i i can't let this my this my expensive cloth on the ground even god knows that it's not cheap the ones that I bought it, the amount that I know he saw me roll on the ground with that one. And God says, this is for me. The 24 elders take up their golden crown. Not, not rubber crown. Not metallic crown. Golden crown. They drop it on the ground and they say, holy, holy, holy. That's what keeps them as elders. So the day they stop doing that, they are no longer elders. That's what keeps them as elders. Holy. To him who sits on the throne. They don't worship everybody in heaven. The one to be worshipped is clear. To him who sits on the throne. The pride of life. Nothing wrong with getting all the good things. Can you stand in front of your mansion. And roll on the ground before God. And say lord you are the doer of this let men devils and angels know that if it had not been the lord by my side now may israel say god is increasing you in ministry and you stand before men i'm not talking of shake sh uh, faking and carrying a form of pride whereas a uh, humility and your heart is proud no that you can sincerely you see people can discern the purity of what you are doing you can stand here and be saying oh god you are the doer and people know that it's just talk in your heart you are saying i'm the doer there is absolutely nothing that you see happening in this house by the grace of god that would not happen if i'm not here it's a privilege to receive and to spearhead what god is doing it's a revelation we must have some of us money has brought a lot of pride there's nothing wrong with having money but many times pride money i have millions i have estates thank god congratulations we appreciate and respect you for paying that price to have this but can i tell you 10 minutes without breathing and all that thing it is wicked people who will fight over it while you are gone Listen, realize the brevity of life outside of the help of god it is it is when you wake up in the morning you can think of doing real estate it is when you wake up in the morning you can think of preaching if it did not wake me this morning there will be no rema there will be no revelation there will be no koinonia
so you can say thank you Jesus before men and they say why are you falling our hand we know that you are an intelligent person you are a professor par excellence and you say the fact that my brain is working I don't make the brain work I only read through a brain that is working the one who made the brain work is the one who deserves the glory can I tell you this many of us I'm sharing with you a secret that's why you found out that you stopped rising a long time ago go back to that place where you started with God roll on the floor and say Jesus you are the one who I repent forgive me for the foolishness of forgetting about you I started thinking about my titles every time I see anything good whether it's a text whether whatever it is that people do I just stand before him and I say Lord you know you see my heart I never had plans for anything if you never bless me if you never gave me ministry I am still grateful but that you have done this I return back I'm telling you sincerely and I'm only saying this because I'm teaching on this I return back every time from the miracle service or from any service once I'm done and all things are done I get down on my knees and I say father you have done it again thank you thank you thank you thank you while I'm saying it text messages are coming from all over the world mighty man of God I say Lord that is dedicated to you they are just trying to say you are great what they are trying to say is Galatians 1 24 and they glorified God in me but Lord I'm like a host as that glory is passing may no devil trap it and kill me down there mm -mm. let it pass and go to him who is due all the glory all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh please help those under the anointing all the glory belongs all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god one more time. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Hear me. No matter who you are, and no matter what God gives you, if you are flying a private jet, you are not the wind that is holding the jet. You only had money to buy it from a man who manufactured it i'm not being sarcastic i'm only challenging you if you win an election as you sit down on that seat while people are clapping just tell them thank you excuse them out lock the door of your office and roll on the ground say lord i knew that i would have lost this election you are the doer and god says because you have done this i vow that you will remain here and anybody that tries to fight you i will scatter them into pieces God helps you as a man of God every Sunday you come if you see one member that comes to share what God has to say give God thanks oh if I come here and I find 10 people I will preach with the same fire and the same passion I stand before the God who called me and I'm telling you this it's not about the crowd no it is an honor to talk to one person about Jesus to make an altar call and to be in partnership with the Holy Ghost to save lives listen to me the car you have in your house came by his mercy the house you have came by his mercy I have houses in Europe I have houses in America congratulations there are people who have houses but they are mad today their brains are not coordinated again to even travel there as the, the houses they have everywhere their prayer is for survival Lord let me leave can I tell you this the most dangerous thing about pride is not that you will be fought the most dangerous thing about pride is who will fight you the Bible says God resisted if men fight you you can go to God and say my father and my maker men are disturbing me if demons fight you you can go to God and say this three months again you can use his name 
if God finds you, will you use his name to cast him? The name of the Lord is the highest. And if the one, the owner of the name is fighting you, every other altar will join him to fight you too. Can I tell you this? Let me tell you how you know God is fighting a man. Everything fights him too. You, when everything is fighting you, I care it for me. The hand of God is there resisting you. Everything, favor will fight you. Good things will fight you. Prophecy will fight you. It is dangerous for God to be against a man. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko Pobre Kateka Nakata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline